hello guys in this session we are going to see how to create the simple hello world project in a spring tool suit for that you have to first launch the spring tool suit and before launching you have to install the spring tool suit in your machine if you don't know how to install the spring tool suit in your machine then i have already provided a video in my channel you can go ahead and check that video at this point of time i am assuming that you are having a spring tool suit available on your machine and the runtime environment is java 8 which is used by your system so the first step that you have to launch the spring tool suit double click on this application file and it is going to be launch so in this case you can see that it is asking what is the work space for this spring tool suit so i already created the work space that is available under the d directory and the folder name is work space underscore sts so i will click on launch so once you will click on launch you will find that spring tool suit 4 will start launching okay now the next step is that we have to create a simple hello world project in spring tool suit so for that what we need to do you have to click on file you have to go new and from new you have to go on spring starter project just click on this you will find another window will be open in front of you that is nothing but it is a new spring starter project window you will find a service url from where it is going to create a hello world project and this service url it is going to use and add the dependency whatever is required now the second option is the name name is nothing but it is a project name so i will give the project name as hello world okay this is my project name when you are typing the project name you will find that the name of the project is similar as the artifact over here if i will put here one then automatically artifact the value will be copy as one if i will put two three then it will be copied as two three so what uh, what it is indicating that your project name must and should be same as an artifact name okay so now the next section is use default location so when it will be checked then what will happen it will go ahead and use the workspace underscore sts which is being used by you at the time of launching this spring tool suit id and it will create the project under this particular workspace if you wanted to change then you just uncheck this thing uh, you can go ahead and choose the directory create the folder and under this it will create the project for my case i am good to use this particular workspace underscore sts which is existing workspace so i am not going to uncheck this particular use default location checkbox next section you will come under the type type will have the two type of project it you can generate one is the maven project and second is the gradle project so you will based on your requirement you can create any kind of project either it is a maven or gradle for me it is a maven so i am good with the maven project i will go ahead with this now coming to the java version in my machine i am using java 8 so i will choose 8 version over here if you are having jdk 11 that is installed on your machine so you should not change to 8 you should go ahead with 11 now packaging is okay that is jar language we are using java now group that is the com dot example and this is the version that we no need to change over here and the description is demo project for spring boot you can add the description based on your requirement and after that the package package is nothing but once the project will be created how the package structure will be so if i will provide here hello then the package what is going to be create under this particular project will be com.example.hello right go to the next now on this screen what you need to do 
you have to provide the dependency whatever you wanted to add inside the maven project maven is nothing but it is a pom.xml and this pom.xml is containing all the dependencies all the libraries which is required to run your application so here i am going to use the web dependency simply you have to type the web you will find under the web spring web just check this spring web for now this is a simple hello world project so i am not going to add any other dependency so after adding this spring web i will go ahead and click on next okay and then after that you have to click on finish then you will find that your project initialization will start and it will add all the dependency whichever is required just wait for some time okay now it's completed after completion of this what i need to do i will go ahead here and here you will find the name of the project what we have given that is hello world is already created let us see the structure of this particular uh, project they are having src main java where you are having a controller related code uh, all the java file will come under this src main resource all the resource file and properties file will come under this src test java all the test file what are the unit tests that you are going to be write for your particular controller all th those things will be available under the src test java and this is the maven dependency so now my requirement is that i wanted to print hello world by running this particular spring boot application okay here you will find there is a auto generated class that is hello world application just click on this and see the structure what it is saying so under this auto generated class you will find let me just uh, increase the font to go preferences appearance color and fonts basic text font i will go with 14 okay apply apply and close so here you will find that this is a hello world application this is the class which is being annotated with at the rate spring boot application okay and here what it is doing we are having a main method under this main method spring application dot run method is being called to run this particular application so this is the actual class which is being triggered initially when the server will start i wanted to print hello world so for that i have to create a controller right click on this package go on new create a class and the class name is hello resource this is the hello resource class that will act as my controller how i will make this particular class as a rest controller i will use the annotation at the rate rest controller just import the package let me check okay import this particular package this class is available under the org spring framework dot web dot bind dot annotation package import this particular package now i am going to write a method which is which will take the responsibility to return a string and the name of a string is hello world so on that situation what i need to do i will write my own custom method public string it is going to return a string return resource message okay it is looking for return statement so i will return a string return okay let me give the semicolon over here now the next section is that you have to add a request mapping annotation so i am going to add at the rate request mapping so i have to import this request mapping and i will provide slash message so when this particular end point will be called and it will give the path slash message in the actual url then on that situation i am expecting that this particular string has to be returned so my task is completed now what you need to do you have to just go ahead click on project click on clean 
it will automatically select clean all project what are the project that is available inside the workspace it is going to clean here i don't have more than one project so checking this option will not affect me so i will click on clean so once you will click on clean you will find here where i am putting my cursor you can find here automatically maven build will start and it will build all your code clean the project and build the code cleaning the project means whatever the new changes you are doing you are building the particular project automatically dot class file will be created and it will be ready to use now what you need to do we have to start the server and for starting the server means we have to run our spring boot application so this is my spring boot application go here select this particular file right click on this choose run as select the option is spring boot app once you will select this option and click on this automatically tomcat server will start just ignore this now you will find that web server failed to start because port 8080 was already in use so on that situation how we can resolve this particular issue so i will go here under the src main resource and i will choose the application dot properties under the application dot properties i will just provide a option called server dot port server dot port is equal to 8082 i am asking a spring boot application that please run the tomcat server that is the default server embedded inside this particular spring boot application on 8082 port so now go ahead and clean the project again clean this after cleaning this particular project so what i need to do i have to right click on this choose the run as select the option spring boot app click here wait for some time your tomcat will start just expand this you can find here inside the console log created the context and after that it started the tomcat on number 8082 port because we asked by providing our own custom port number so it is started successfully and that error resolved now what i need to do i will go here and here i will just type localhost 8082 this is my port number slash message this is the end point that we are looking for so once i will hit enter you will find the message is being returned from the particular end point right hello world from spring boot let us check the similar message we have written over here or not in this particular hello resource controller hello world from spring boot i am going to change this message hello world is spring from spring boot 1 2 3 4 5 again i will clean the particular project clean this okay after cleaning this let me refresh the particular browser nothing is appeared so what i need to do i need to restart the server to take the effect what we have done the changes in the controller class stop this particular server start your application again run as spring boot application check the console log if application is successfully started on your specified port number or not it is started on 8082 let me just refresh this thing you can find the message is being changed and which is coming from the specific end point okay now if you wanted to see i just remove the end point right that is the request mapping message and let me check what is going to happen after press the enter button you will find white label error message why this white label error message because the resource is not found 4 not 4 let me go and inspect this particular page what is console log is saying it is saying that failed to load the resource the server responded with the status 404 go to the network section 
reload the particular page, you will find under the local host what is happening, what is the response, nothing is coming. That is white label error page is coming and the same error message is appearing, whatever is appearing over here. Okay, under the header section, we are finding the status code 404, right? If I am not providing slash message, in spite of this, simply I am providing an empty string, then it is going to return the particular message, whatever I have written. I had already specified the endpoint, so I am expecting that from the endpoint, it should return some message, what is my expectation? So, if I will provide message, and again hit on the enter button, you will find that it is returning the successful response and here the status code is 200 and under the response section you will find that hello world from Spring Boot 1234. So guys this is very simple and very easy to create simple hello world application. You can also create after installing the Spring tool suit in your system. I feel that whole process you understood properly and if you are finding that this video is helpful for you then go ahead and subscribe this channel and like this video thank you for your time and thanks a lot